Grace. I've been a cabin crew member at Cathay Pacific for three years now, and I'd like to show you around the airline I'm so proud to work for. Today, international travel is an amazing, uplifting part of life and an integral part of many people's lifestyles. We really love aviation, but we love our planet too, and we don't think the two things have to conflict. So at Cathay Pacific, we're doing all we can to make aviation more sustainable. You know, these days, consumers are very savvy about everybody's impact on the environment, and they're making the point to us that uh, you know, they would like to know what we're doing about it. So they're asking us to, to tell them, and you know, we're listening and we're responding to that. As a passenger, there are some things about Cathay Pacific that you may already have noticed. Like the way we're continually investing to upgrade and modernize our fleet. The way we use LED lighting, recycled glass and bamboo in our new passenger lounges. You may also have noticed that in flight, we provide responsibly sourced seafood choices. We've also been participating in UNICEF's Change for Good program since 1991, giving all of you the chance to help children in 150 countries. And you can play your part by participating in our Fly Greener Carbon Offset program. But there are also things about us you probably won't have seen, some of which make a big difference to the environment and communities around the world. For us, they're just business as usual, and they go hand in hand with the things we take care of every day that make a difference to your flying experience. For instance, long before you take your seat, our teams are meticulously planning every aspect of your flight. We start by using real-time wind data to plan the most optimized route to minimize flying time and fuel consumption. We're very weight conscious. The amount of fuel we carry is calculated to precision so that we always carry the optimal amount rather than too much, but without ever compromising on safety. These new generation aircraft represent a step change improvement over earlier aircraft. In terms of fuel usage, they're 20 to 30% more efficient than the older generation aircraft they're replacing. And communities around airports will also notice a significant difference in the noise that these aircraft produce. We keep our taxiing times to the very minimum, and when we can, we use ground-based electrical power to reduce fuel consumption before the aircraft has even taken off. And we're making changes to the environmental impact of our air freight services by constantly keeping an eye on our weight. We're now using new carbon fibre containers, replacing the traditional aluminium ones. These are more durable, they're lighter. All this reduces the weight. We're also investing in new freighters. The new 747-8 is bigger, it can carry more cargo further, more efficiently. All this reduces the weight and reduces the CO2 that we emit. On board, your cabin crew are always focused on your comfort, but they keep the environment in mind too. On each flight, we try to make sure there's as little waste as possible. We recycle the unwanted newspaper, the in-flight magazines, the plastic and aluminum drink containers. A few years ago, some cabin crew came to us and suggested that we start recycling in-flight waste because they noticed that um, a lot of this is just going to general landfill. So from 2007, we started recycling aluminum cans, plastic cups and cutlery on board. We're always looking for ways we can to improve our operations, and we don't do any of this alone. Our engineering teams are always looking for ways to make our fleet more efficient. We've made many of our maintenance routines far more environmentally friendly. A good example is that we wash the engines regularly using specialist equipment, and this helps to save fuel. Even our paint is special new technology paint, 
reducing the frequency with which we need to wash and wax the aircraft. Now these may seem like small changes, but across a fleet of nearly 200 aircraft, they make a significant difference to the fuel and water we use on a daily basis. Outside of flying, we also focus on people and causes that really need our help. Our corporate volunteering scheme has over 1,100 staff. They're very active in participating in organized programs such as beach cleanup and English programs for students in the neighborhood. I'm so proud of them because they have contributed over 16,000 hours to help the community when they are in need. We're now working towards a more sustainable future. And we're making a start by looking at how we can move away from conventional fuel to sustainable biofuels. We're looking at ways of introducing sustainable fuels into Cathay Pacific's operation to complement our latest fuel efficient aircraft. And that's going to be a real challenge for us as a company and indeed for the industry. But we're committed, the suppliers are committed, and that's why we believe that the use of sustainable biofuels can genuinely reduce our carbon footprint. As our business continues to grow, by 2020, we have a firm commitment to address any growth in emissions using an industry-wide agreed offset mechanism. So we're not just talking about climate change, we're actually committed to making a difference. We promise to keep up our efforts to make aviation more sustainable. And if you'd like to know more about what we're doing, please visit us at cathepacific.com.